So you want to learn how to fight, but you currently fight like this. No! 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 Well, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but there's no saving that sh**. Nah, I'm playing my friend. There's still hope. Only a little bit. But there's still hope. And Uncle Mike Tyson here is here to teach you how. So buckle up, strap in, put some sun cream on, because Uncle Mike Tyson is about to bring some heat. You look a bit taller today, my friend. You're a bit of a gross spot. Actually, what's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Step one. Fine tune those fundamentals. You may be asking yourself, Joe, why do you call it fine tune? Why? Is it really relevant with it? Now, a lot of beginners love to try and jump in the deep end and try and smash each other during sparring and try and do some next complex move and try to beat up their uncle and everything. No! No! You want to annihilate your fundamentals. So, what are your fundamentals? Well, let me tell you, my friend. The jab, the most fundamental, fundamental of combat sports. Now, a good right hand will take you around the block, but a great jab will take you around the world. Don't ever sleep on your shot, my friend. I found out you slept with this shot or on this shot. I will come for you personally. <laughs> I win. Now, your jab is the gateway to all other shots. The main one being the cross. Obviously, another crucial strike in combat sports. With this shot, the power comes from pivoting of the foot, the rotation of the hips, and dropping the weight slightly to generate the power from the legs. Now listen, Michael Phelps, we're not trying to do Olympic swimming, yeah? Do a little... <laughs> None of that. I don't want to see no Olympic front crawl or back crawl or back... Don't do it. The next crucial shot, the hook. Now the hook is a great shot to have in the arsenal, which can be used like the jab and the cross at several ranges. The main one being up close and personal, baby. But can be used in mid range to set up other shots such as your cross or far range such as your gazelle hook and for a defensive shot such as your check hook. But those two shots are pretty advanced, so I won't touch on them right now. The uppercut. Another close range strike, very useful when timed effectively and used correctly. Footwork. And head movement. Now these are more abstract, more complex ones. See, there's many ways you can utilize footwork and head movement, either separately or together. And it's a bit too complex to dive in right now, especially for you beginners. However, footwork and head movement are crucial for combat sports. You know what, I may even make an individual video dedicated to footwork and head movement because I can't stress how important that is. But for now, just know it's important. Step two practice regularly now this one i can't stress enough so i'm gonna say it again and again you know what i might say it again and again you know what you know why not again one more time for save keeps again and again some annoying guy man oh you guys are gonna make me so angry right now gotta stay consistent constantly chipping away and focusing on your technique, especially as a beginner, completely expedite the process of you working your way up through the ranks and improving as a fighter. Don't feel like training today? Life's getting a bit much. Your brethren's pals, hopping on PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. Ah! If you want to learn how to fight and really improve yourself, you'll find solutions and not problems. A pessimistic, lazy person always has a problem to your solution. But an optimistic go-getter, someone who really wants to improve themselves, has a solution to every problem. Which one are you? So keep persistent, stay eager to learn, and don't point up your grandma. Please, don't, don't do that. Love your grandma, please don't, don't punch your grandma. Step three, get your body and your diet right. God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Now, if you don't know where to start, then you're screwed. Gotcha. Nah, you're in luck, my friend, because I have released my very own comprehensive, juicy, zesty, actually not zesty, but juicy strength and conditioning program, specifically for martial artists and athletes of all levels. So you could be a fetus, and this will still work for you. I'm not sure about that one. This course does welcome all levels, whether beginner, Olympic athletes, if any of you are Olympic athletes. And this program gives you a full eight week 
eight week program with four day split, as well as how to do each exercise, what to eat to get in great athletic shape, and loads more. I've genuinely just scratched the surface. And right now, Jai Martial Arts are having a flash sale where the program is currently $9.99. But get it fast, but it's still cheap. Anyway, I've also made a couple of videos on how to get in fighting shape linked here, 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 or here, 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 here. Everybody knows. Are you serious right now, bro? On how to get that caramel milk chocolate delight physique. Well, only if you're. <laughs> oh, how's that there? But honestly, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you are good. So I believe getting your body in the best shape possible is the gateway to quality performance and better quality of life. And also, you just look fine as f So, you beautiful. So, you beautiful beginners and you beautiful veterans who have accumulated some battle scars. Those are my three steps on learning how to fight from home. Now I do always advise, if you want to improve as much as possible, achieve the best growth possible in the fighting game, that you go to a reputable martial arts gym near you. Reason being, you'll be able to spar many people, they'll be able to focus on you, focus on different techniques and drills, and you'll be able to ask your coach for pointers. But anyway, hope you enjoyed another one of my videos. So goodbye from me and Bob today, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>